here we go. Put your thumb. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> keep it I'm in really there. okay to keep it in my face. <laughs> okay, then what? Okay, look for the cervix. It's kind what? of a big bony thing in there. <laughs> okay, I think. How far? Oh, oh God. it varies. <laughs> <laughs> this is gross. Okay. I haven't found anything going. You find anything like that? Uh-uh. I don't know what it really feels like in there, but I mean, oh, I up do. Top. I think I, is it up top? Uh, it should be about maybe the size of my fist, or it could be smaller. Or it could be, uh, it might be up in there further, too. Oh, God. I feel like I'm just feeling the backbone. <laughs> You've got to feel down. you got to go like this to get it. Oh, oh I might have found it. Okay. I feel something like Okay, now I'll try to get the end of your deal to that. Oh. And then work it through there. Oh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> it's got a little tiny hole in it and you gotta manipulate it through there. 
Oh, I found it. I think. Uh, I no, you don't have to take your finger off the oh. deal right now. Just hold it like this. Okay. You actually put it in a hole? You got to put it through a little tiny hole and it goes through the cervix and up to the horns between the cervix and the horns there's a kind of a long space there i know it's <laughs> I, I don't know if i found it that's all right i feel this straw i feel this thing yeah. well, but i don't know where it's supposed to go yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's all part this of it probably, you yeah. got the idea of what yeah, you're kind of yeah i think this is good <laughs> <laughs> okay come on out you got an idea now Ooh, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> Very gross. No. <laughs> oh no! Take your. Yeah. Take, your take your syringe. Now push that. Now push this little deal and hold on to that and pull it up. Now fold that up a little. Throw it on that pile. There you go. <laughs> That was, so, that was yeah, quite we didn't a get a cow bread, I but I... she got the idea. I mean, she she's never done this before. She don't know what she's really looking for. You know. No, so when you have... I've done thousands of them, so it's easy for me. But you got to get a hold of that cervix, and sometimes you got to push it way ahead to Otherwise, you're getting in some folds in the skin. So, so do you usually actually feel this, like the actual thing? Yeah. Well. There's membrane between okay. there. So. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you're getting that cervix and you're working it, or you're the syringe and working it through the cervix, deposit the semen, and then come back. So when you learned this originally, did you practice on like a real, or did they have something fake? They actually had a cervix laying on the table there out of a cow, a dead cow, and oh, it's just a cervix. So you kind of know what he's looking at, you know? Yeah, that would probably be helpful. But I know that when you first go in there, you don't know what you're looking for. So, you did fine. Okay? <laughs> now let's breed some cows. We got about a okay, bunch of them here. here. Okay, well, we're going to get ready to head out. They're not quite done, but I guess my job here is done. <laughs> so, the review of the mock artificial insemination of a cow. Um, uh, my fear level during that going into it, I didn't feel like I was all that fearful, but as I got closer to the pasture and actually entered the pasture and saw the cows and looked at what I would be doing, um, my fear level rose to quite high to the point that I was really questioning if I was actually going to do this. I was like, oh my gosh, am I going to chicken out? My stomach was a little bit upset. And I really questioned if that was something I wanted to do, but I just decided I needed to go for it. And so I did. So I would say, yeah, my fear level for that was 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 pretty high, actually. Um, but I went ahead and did it, and fun. I wouldn't exactly say it was a fun experience, but I would say that I am glad I I did it. Um, it's something I probably will not be doing again. Um, but just generally, it was something that, um, like I said, not fun. But I'm glad that I I did it because it was more of an educational experience for me and um, just learning about things that I wouldn't um, have probably learned about had I not done this experiment. So, uh, yeah, not fun, very fearful, probably won't do it again, but glad I did it. As always, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe to my page. See you next time.